Welcome to the channel, welcome to the workshop. Today, well, over the next couple of days, we're going to be, I'm going to be doing a bit of tool restoration. I've been watching Weekend Shedhead, and he's been doing a few recently, and it just piqued my interest. If you watched the previous video, you'll have seen that I got some tools off my dad uh, when he retired. And as part of these, I thought I'd restore this. This is a, um, a, sp um, a spoke shave. Looking at, looking it up online, um, it's, it's quite ornate. Um, this was produced between, I think, 1928 and 1932, so it's quite old. It's, it's oh, just really nice details all over it. So I thought we'd uh, would give it a go, giving it a, a tidy up and a clean up, and see if you know. I don't think I'll ever use it, but you know, it's a, just a really nice thing. So let's. Uh, I want to strip this down. We'll move over to the bench. We'll strip this down, and we'll get it in some uh, some white vinegar overnight. Okay, as you can see, it really is quite nice and ornate with all these pattern patterns on it. So it's from Preston, so it's been about 19, oh, late 1920s. Uh, but it just needs stripping apart initially, so let's uh, see what we need to do. Not going to lie, there's not many parts to this. Lead off, that's it, just those pieces. So <clears throat> let's get it into a bottle. It just fits in there, it's got quite a bit of stuff on it, I think. <clears throat> get some white vinegar, which I've just got new. So that's just normal um, white cleaning vinegar. Nothing, nothing too over the top with that. I just got a, got this about six, seven pounds that was. So, gonna leave that for the night. Uh, come back tomorrow. Uh, get a toothbrush on it and see what we can clear out the the, the um, all the the recesses. Um, and then I got some buffing wheels um, and we'll give it a buff up and see what we can do to give it good clean. Right. I'll see. Well, for you, for you, it's going to be a couple of seconds. For me, it's going to be overnight. Okay, so it's been. We're back up 20, 24 hours later. Um, I thought we'll just give it a quick clean. See, some of it's come off, but. So that is coming out not so bad. I think what we'll do is I'll get my uh, molten tool out and see if we've got a buffing thing on that or a flat disc and just take the rest of it off and give it a clean up, particularly the insides here. Okay, so these are cleaned up 
reasonably well. He's not like a gold patina, that could be just the, the thing, uh, the, the, the cleaning. Um, I thought I'd use a multi tool. We'll try it with this first on this piece. Um, if this works quite well, then I'll move on to the others. If not, I've got a flat disc that might do the job as well. Um, so, yeah, let's give it a go. Okay, you might have noticed I've changed over to the uh, to a flap disc because that one just completely killed itself. <laughs> now I think I'm going to change this for a um, a. I want to change it for for one of these again because it's a bit a bit harsh on that. So. say I'm gonna put it off into a buffing wheel in fact I'll grab the stuff and show you what I'm gonna use so I bought this kit and it'll go on to my you'll see in a second it'll go on to my um, pillar drill um, but yeah uh, and we'll get it poshed up but yeah these are there. I think this is coming up really well at the moment Okay, so I've got this, I've not used this before, so this should be interesting. Well, that's making an awful mess, so I think we're going to change the pad to something a bit more suitable.
that's actually turned out quite nice first time using that might be <coughs> i might come back to it later on give it another buffing up but let's link like that we'll put, might put it back together and see what we see what we can do as you can see though it makes a bit of a mess okay these are the pieces all so i've had, had a good buffing up i think they turned out okay uh i might go back and revisit these at some point but this is how they were and how they are now they're not turning out that bad actually i didn't want to take too much of it i didn't want to get the pattern the detail off so let's uh put this thing back together again now then that went on there I'm just going to pull that up to the blade isn't out on the bottom. There we go. Yeah, it's turned out quite well for a first attempt. There wasn't much I wanted, just uh, get rid of some of the rust off it and um, give it a buff and a clean off and a grind down. So, yeah, quite happy with that. Um, could do be getting some off the blade. I, you know, I, noticed, I didn't sharpen the blade. I do have the kit to do it, but in the truth is, one, it's really sharp anyway, and I don't think I'm going to gain anything from trying to sharpen it because I don't think I'm ever going to use this. It'll just go somewhere. Okay, what I think I'll do is just put some WD-40 on it to give it a protective layer, just for now. Hopefully, it'll help maybe help buff it up a little bit more. Yeah, really happy with that. Hmm. Well, hope you enjoyed that. So the first time I've done this, I've got some more tools to do in that in that chest as well. Um which I might, I might have a look at refurbing some of those as well, but I think that was quite successful, that. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. As usual, if you did, like and subscribe. Thank you very much. Cheers.